We are here with Against the Current. We have Chrissy, Dan, and Will here with us. And you all are on later on today, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What time do you go on and what stage? Uh, 2.50 on Cyclops. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Like so, an hour. <laughs> are you all nervous about playing? At this point, is it just no, kind of really you know, yeah. get up and go? Yeah, just go up and play. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like every day, so it's just like... Uh, you got if you got nervous at this point it's like it'd be kind of irritating getting feeling like that every single day for the entire summer <laughs> oh absolutely so what's your favorite part about playing warped so far hanging out is, is really fun just being outside is nice it's a nice change especially like yeah you know when you're doing like two month like club tours all the time and stuff like that so it's yeah. a nice change wilderness yeah <laughs> some nature <laughs> some in there nature just <laughs> It rains a lot, you know. Yeah. So, have you gotten rained out? Uh, uh, like, we've had a few rain delays. Day. Yeah. I don't think it's, it hasn't been canceled though so yeah. far. So we haven't like. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah There's some so. delays every now and then. There has been a lot of rain though at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much at some point every day. It could be at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> the skies just opened up. Yeah. yeah. So you're on the road all summer, warp tour, and then you're going on your own worldwide tour mm-hmm. um, yeah. starting in September, correct? Right. Mm-hmm. And you're going to hit Asia and Europe is all it's announced so far. Mm-hmm. So what are, are you the most excited about for that? Um, Asia's always awesome. Yeah. Going back to Asia, going back to Europe. I mean, just um, it's like going to be our first headlining run with the record because the mm-hmm. record just came out in May. So this is warp tour is the first tour we're doing, but it's... Warped Tour is obviously a very unique kind of tour, being a festival tour. Yeah. So being able to like kind of do the first official album tour is really exciting for us. That's awesome. Lots of new music. Yeah. yeah. Are there any venues that you're returning to that you've played before? Um, a bunch in Asia. Um, so we're really excited about uh, this one in Hong Kong. It's called McPherson, and it's like a ping pong stadium. I think it's basketball. I, I think it's basketball, it but they had a ping pong tournament there. But it's like it's a mini stadium. Mm-hmm. And it's so it's like it's not like obviously it's not like twenty thousand people or anything like that, but it like looks like a little stadium inside, and it's just it's awesome. It's so much fun to play because you feel like you're playing something that's so massive. So that's awesome. Yeah. I love playing venues that are a little bit more unique mm-hmm. or have a feel where fans really feel like they're getting an experience that no one else gets. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely a really unique um, venue in that sense where it's like there's not a lot of like venues that are laid out like that at that size usually it's just all floor or like some like balcony but this is like truly like stadium seating and everything cool so you all dropped a video like two days ago mm-hmm. so how has that reception been so far i haven't even I mean, you've been on the road but I, I actually <laughs> haven't even watched it since it came out what yeah it's hard because you you know we don't have like you're not on like Wi-Fi and stuff, right, right. so it's just like yeah, we're not like, and also we're just so busy every day. It's just like yeah. the last thing that you think of like when you're done at the end of the day is like going online and like reading like comments. Mm-hmm. Um, but we were really stoked for the video, so hopefully it's getting good. <laughs> hopefully people are liking it, but we should probably check in on that. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far the reception I've seen has been great. Okay, um, we watched it and we thought it was kick-ass. Thank you. Um, as what is the difference for you all and and. Kind of what is um, your favorite parts about shooting videos as opposed to playing live shows? So you're on a festival tour right now and you do a lot of touring worldwide. Um, what about putting on your acting hats and doing video shoots? I mean, I love video shoots. It's kind of like my favorite part of being in a band. Um, but I think that just comes from me like liking the creative side of it, like liking being like, I get very involved with the, um, the actual like treatments of the videos mm-hmm. and uh, what goes into them. And I think it's, really interesting and it's something that it's like I've realized being in a band it's like if I had to pick a secondary career I would want to go back to film school and like work on ma- music videos because I think it's awesome um, so for me it's always a lot of fun personally how much do you get to do as far as helping with the treatments or making props or you know? yeah I mean like it's pretty much whatever we want so because it, awesome. it's ultimately our video so um, the treatment I'm usually pretty involved with because I tend to have a very specific vision because I write most of the lyrics for the songs um, so like I want the meaning of them to be conveyed the right way, um, and it's really important to me, so I get pretty heftily involved in the treatments. Um, even this treatment, the Wasteland video, the director submitted a treatment that was probably completely different than the one that actually the video came to be, um, but he had the right idea, so it's just like we kind of worked together to like completely rewrite it, um, but it was really good and ended up being exactly what we wanted in the end. 
That's awesome. And that you get that freedom, that creative yeah. control to be able to do what's best for the song. Mm-hmm. Speaking of lyrics that are especially poignant, what so far have you felt is the most um, resonating, resonating the most with fans as far as songs go? Uh, <laughs> from like the record or yeah, from any well, song? Well, any I suppose, but your newest record that came out at the end of May, um, what song do you feel like is resonating the most with fans? Um, it's hard because they're actually like pretty evenly split. Mm-hmm. Like even when we do like Twitter polls and asking them about their favorite songs and stuff like that, it's always like pretty evenly split. So it's like it's pretty hard. But um, a lot of them really like our new song Roses because it's uh, it's more it's very different than anything we've done because it's someone dies in the song instead of it being like a typical breakup song. Um, so I think a lot of people were like like surprised to resonate with that even if it necessarily isn't a situation that has happened to them just because it is an emotion that we can all be at least like empathetic towards um but they also really like like wild things because it's all about you know self-expression and you know doing it like despite being like trying to be conformed to societal norms and that kind of thing so i think there's like a song for everyone out there so hopefully you know we like that there isn't one that's capturing everyone we like that like everyone's kind of finding something different that's awesome and yeah. that shows like the i guess the spectrum that you're able to, yeah. to capture what about for uh, performing live what's your favorite song in your set right now that you're playing on work in our set um i don't know probably wasteland i don't know i don't know <laughs> we aren't playing my favorite songs yet what's either way I don't know, some of the new songs on the record. We've been playing these songs for like two years, so I'm excited to switch it up in the fall. Yeah. So right now you're not playing much We're, from- we're playing Wasteland and Forget Me Now and Runaway. Actually, Runaway is my favorite. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Stricken from the record. All right. We got there. <laughs> what about you two? Favorite song in the set right now? Hmm. So we can look forward, you know, when you're playing. Hmm. Wasteland's fun, drum-wise, definitely. Wasteland, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all fun in, like, like a different way. Things. Wild Things is a lot of fun. I think Wild Things is a lot of fun, and it's, like, a good... It always starts to set off on a good note, because that's the song we come out with. Um, I also just love playing, like, it's our older song, but at Gravity, it's from, like, the EP. But it's just, like, we do play a lot of new songs in this set, since it is such a short set, so it, there is a lot of new songs. Um, so once you finally, like, get to that older song that people, like, know and have loved for a while, it just, like, it's a really good feeling. One last curiosity of my my own part. Um, what have you responded to as far as being on Fueled by Ramen, um, coming from putting out your own EP, you all released that on your own label. Um, what's that difference been for you all going from an indie band to uh, being on a major label? Um, it's pretty different. Uh, it's different. We, we have a lot more people involved with like when we can release stuff and how stuff gets released and stuff like that. Um, we still, but it's, it's all great. I mean, it's so it's great. Yeah, and like the creative end of it didn't really change because the creative end of it is still very much like us. So it's just more like like release dates and like that kind of stuff, like logistics of things that have changed. Um, not so much the like the actual creative processes. Well, that's awesome though. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I think that's what a lot of bands worry the most about mm-hmm. is giving up that control. And that's why we went with Fuel by Ramen in the first place is because a lot of their biggest artists, like Twenty One Pilots, Paramore, is like those kind of artists, they are really like, they're that big, not because of the label. It's not like some of the other labels where, you know, they put them on the radio and they just blow up. They're big because of the band and the label believed in that band. So I think that's why so many of the bands like Fuel by Ramen get successful is because Fuel by Ramen genuinely believes in the actual vision of the band, of what they are and not like what they could be if they threw them on, you know, number one radio charts or whatever. That's awesome. So parting, Parting thoughts for your fans, either out here or that at home that couldn't come out to Warped. What do you want them to look forward to? What do you want to say to them? Um, hope you're enjoying the record. Uh, <laughs> and that you like the Wasteland video. And that if you didn't get to come to Warped Tour, that we see you in the fall. And if you did come to Warped Tour, that we still see you again in the fall. <laughs> come to Asia. <laughs> yeah. Fly out to Asia. Well, America will be announced soon enough. So okay. we'll be coming back. Always got to come back home. Okay, good. All right, well, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Yeah, and thank you. have an amazing set. We're looking forward to it, and we'll listen to Wasteland. It's everyone's favorite song. Thank you.